A recent sting operation has led to 48 arrests and 16 victims of human trafficking and prostitution, six of which have been identified as children and youth. The arrest has now gotten local civil rights organizations, like the People's Association of Justice Advocates, involved. Here to discuss further is the organization founder, Mr. Shane Harris. Shane. Hi, hi Paul. Good morning, San Diego. It's not the topic I want to be talking about on a Monday morning. Well, this all revolves around SB 357, does it not? That's correct. Maybe we should pick up the conversation. Scott Wiener vision mm -hmm. from the Bay Area, mm -hmm. the Bay Area. Yeah. What was his vision and what is 357? So SB 357, um, loitering with the intent to sell sex, it makes it legal in California. So folks can now loiter with the intent to sell sex. And the idea of this bill was, uh, according to Scott Wiener, the senator, uh, from San Francisco that the intent was to deal with the criminalization, uh, or rather racial profiling of LGBTQ uh, and people of color uh, pertaining to allegedly loitering to, with the intent to sell sex and them being profiled by police. Um, it sought to sort of take the profiling aspect out. And then in seeking to do that, um, the effort uh, was not looking at the civil rights and the children's rights of so many children, vulnerable children, who will be affected by the passing of such a law. Um, frivolous to say the least, disastrous to say the most, uh, and this policy and this law uh, needs to be repealed by the governor and by the state legislature. The state senator, uh, Mr. Weiner, uh, I, 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 I'll take him for his word for the, his vision for it, but my, but anybody, any, Sane person could tell you that this was going to be the consequence, right? Look, Paul. I, I don't. How does this get passed? Look, 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 Paul. I've been advocating for racial profile against racial profiling. I've led on a number of policies and laws uh, in the state of California and here at home in San Diego. Um, this is disastrous to say the least because what they said was about racial profiling. It really wasn't. It was a man trying to make a name for himself again, trying to pull another policy up to 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 you know make a name for himself uh, statewide, nationally, where the state to, you know, decriminalize loitering with the intent to sell sex. This is not dealing with racial profiling. This is opening up tons of opportunity for pimp profiling. And, and Paul, look, I understand the process that we, we go through. I have never proclaimed to be a human anti-human trafficking advocate. Uh, there's a lot of experts out there who have done this work. But I know, like, uh, uh, the bilateral uh, uh, coalition national city, Marisa Ugarte, uh, has done a lot of work on this issue. Uh, the bilateral uh, 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 coalition there in national city has taken down a number of, helped a number of victims get out of uh, being sex trafficked. And I think that what we have to look at here is 60% of foster youth are, tra are, vi are the victims of human trafficking. And in 2019, a study showed that 19%, 16% of uh, youth who ran away from the system were also victims of trafficking. So we're seeing great, great, great numbers of the most vulnerable children impacted by human trafficking. And yet, uh, this state thinks that passing the, such a law uh, and basically making law uh, where pimps can now pander and Johns can utilize children uh, uh, without anyone standing up, I think is despicable. We need leadership now, and, and that's why I'm calling on the state to repeal this law. All right. Does, do you have the governor's ear on this, do you think? I spoke to the governor last week. Um, I will be working on uh, making a trip to, cal to this uh, capital. Um, I will also be taking this federal. I will also be taking this to the United Nations. Human trafficking is an international crisis. Absolutely. And, and I think what we need to do is uh, we, we're going to have a lot of pushing to do. I'm reaching out to the governor. I've reached out to Assembly Speaker Rendon and Senate President Pro Tem Tony Atkins. I have also issued a letter to County Supervisor and Chairwoman Noor Vargas because the county plays a role in advocating for the push to repeal. I've also issued a letter to San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria. His own police chief says that this law is making it more difficult for officers and police to stop these operations. And in this recent operation, as you know, Eight children and youth, a 13-year-old, right. caught in the sting operation that was successfully led by our local, state, and federal officials. So, look, for those who say, hey, Shane Harris is standing against uh, racial profiling, no, they used racial identity politics to, to open up the opportunity for children to be trafficked exploited. and the children's rights to be exploited. Are you confident this will be repealed? 
I'm confident. Um, I think that it would behoove the governor, it would behoove the legislature to immediately repeal this. It was only, it only had one vote to spare uh, in, in, in the state legislature. And so it would behoove any real leader in California to repeal this law uh, because it not only puts children at risk, for anybody who has future presidential aspirations, uh, I, I would really behoove you to, to, to repeal this because it will be federally known that California allowed children to be trafficked and nobody stood up for the children in this state. And I think that um, it is really important for us to note that even the most vulnerable children who are actually uh, under the state's care, those 60 percent of foster youth who end up in trafficking, it would behoove the state to speak up right now and to, to, to repeal this law because even cities like Oakland are saying this is crazy. This is, they're seeing trafficking rings and prostitution rings outside of churches, outside of... So I think we need to see real leadership right now. I think the local leaders need to step, speak up. The San Diego mayor who spoke at last week's press conference and said that this was, we will stop crime against whoever. Well, this is a good place to start repealing right. SB 357. Sure, we have to call it there. Thanks for coming. I'm, I'm okay. asking people, uh, we do have a, a state calling sheet uh, that we're releasing on www.pajmovement.org. That's the People's Association of Justice Advocates. People can call uh, the governor, can call the state assembly speaker, and can call the state's president pro tem. We need people to mobilize those phone calls. We're going to be driving a calling uh, campaign, and I will be also traveling the state to uh, work with a number of other activists and leaders and anti-human trafficking advocates to push against push for this repeal. Shane Harris, everybody, thank you for coming in. Thank you. 